I chosen ones, I define like beings, I like gods and goddesses, welcome to the channel, universe, the channel to help you uplift your universe and your universe within. Today it's all about the new moon. We have a new moon on the 17th of August and this new moon is in the sign Virgo. So this new moon is all about getting your life together, getting your life together because this new moon in Virgo is asking you to be more in tune with being tolerant and accepting imperfections in your life and at the same time trying to get your life together. So your feeling of safety is now related to order and clarity. That is what you want to be seeking even in your emotions. You want clarity. Yeah, you will feel the need to organize everything chaotic and disorganized in your life. Because Virgos are just signs that want to have this, this, their life organized. They want, to, um, they want to control their life. But at the same time, you have to also try to go with the flow. So you feel the need to organize everything that's chaotic and disorganized, like I already said. But try to go with the flow and the rhythms of your life. And get some shit, as they say, get your life together. New moons are also um, called the crescent moon because it's when you can see the silver, the first silver light in the sky. That is the new moon. This phase promotes new beginnings. It promotes new endeavors and relationships. So it's all about newness, new beginning of whatever you want in your life. So if you want a new relationship, if it is a friendship, if it is um, a new job, career, etc., etc., this is the time to set your intentions to manifest and call in um, this energy of newness. So it is a time for making positive changes, yeah? So embody that energy of positivity to also attract positive changes in your life. So if you're looking for a fresh career opportunities and planting new seeds, um, of ideas that will be harvested later, then this is the time to do it. Do your rituals, cleanse your space, cleanse your aura. Um, if you can, declutter your space from unwanted papers, unwanted letters, unwanted stuff, unwanted clothes, etc., etc., that you no longer need. Um, crystals that you can use. Um, so one could use as an amplifier that boost and support the energy behind one's speech, communication and expression are turquoise, lapis lazuli, um, aquamarine, blue quartz and blue agate. I love the lapis lazuli because this energy that it, it, it boosts really your energy of also confidence, I feel. Um, so these are crystals that are very, very important that you can use on this um, new moon, the 17th of August. And you also can, you know, also embody this energy three days after and even three days before. So um, be mindful of the crystals that you can use. There are more crystals. These are just some that I summoned up that you can use. Um, and also very nice to do is sound healing. Um, 
sound healing like 741 hertz frequency helps to heal the throat chakra yeah for expression communication and um, speaking your truth scenting or burning oils like rosemary lime sage cedar wood and tea tree oil this will help to stimulate the frequency of communication and expression into one's immediate environment and aura so also very nice you know if you are not using like um, 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 scenting or burning oils um, we all use um, incense but oils are also very very nice and very effective when it comes to also scenting and smelling um, you know these aromas that go to one's brain so it is a very nice um, very nice to incorporate these type of rituals into your let's say new moon rituals um, the following affirmations um, that you can also use oh before i go further you can also wear the color blue because when it comes to um, light healing it's also very nice um, to wear a certain type of color that will also enhance and help you with your expression, communication, and speaking your truth. So um, colors play a magical role in helping us connect to the different vibrations in nature by staring at the color, for instance, blue, or simply imagining a blue burst of energy in one's mind. This method plays a role in attuning the frequency of the throat chakra. So it, 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 it boosts your throat chakra. This is called light intensity healing. So wearing blue, um, visualizing as if there is uh, blue, something blue in front of you. Um, going to nature, looking at the sky that is blue, looking at water that is blue can also help and enhance your truth chakra. Yeah, to help with your expression, speaking your truth and um, just opening your throat chakra, just activating your throat chakra more and more. So when it comes to um, affirmations, the following affirmations will lay a subconscious imprint into our mind and introduce into our auric field an aura of confidence in communication, expression, and speaking our truth. So I've just wrote only a few, but there are more affirmations that one can use to help enhance um, your throat chakra. My voice matters. I express myself truly and fearlessly. I speak with love. I have an opinion. I am aligned with my highest truth and communicate this with love and honor. Um, also, don't forget that... Um, when it comes to the new moon, when it comes to the full moon, you can always put a glass of water in front of your window and let this water charge with the energy of the new moon. And the second day or a few hours later, you can drink this water and it will, um, it will intensify the energy. It will also help you with your you know whatever you're trying to achieve when it comes to new beginnings when it comes to everything that has to do with the new moon energy so these are some things that you can do when it comes to the new moon in virgo i'm gonna tell you to have a powerful peaceful and very blissful new moon Thank you for watching.